Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, 60 Outdoors. My name is Kyle, and as you can see there behind me, we have the B2301. Well, we're not going to be using that today, unfortunately. We're going to be using the TS248 XD Husqvarna Riding Lawnmower. Uh, we're going to be mowing the lawn today with it. And I just wanted to kind of go over some of the specs of the lawnmower with you guys in case you guys are looking for a new riding lawnmower. I hope you stick around. Like I said, this is the Husqvarna TS248 XD. Uh, the 248, it's the Series 2 Husqvarna riding lawnmower in their lineup. It has the 48 inch deck. Um, this is the fabricated deck here, which it's very, very nice. This thing cuts like you wouldn't believe. Cuts very, very nice. Um, very heavy duty, very well built. It's got four caster wheels and then one center center wheel underneath there. Uh, it's got seven different uh, settings for your cutting height. It has the gas tank in the back, which is very nice to get to. Uh, it has a very, very comfortable seat on it which is nice, that's part of the reason why I picked it up, got it. Um, of course you got your throttle control here. It has your amps and your hour meter as well. Uh, very comfortable steering wheel on it, which is, is very nice. Uh, it's got cruise control as well and a parking brake. It's got the side pedals, which are very nice. Unless you're used to the tread pedal style, like here on the Kubota tractors. So I, my mind's trained to use the treadle pedal, so I always find myself kind of trying to step back to go backwards, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, it's got a cup holder in place for your cell phone if you want. You know, some handles to hang on to if you're mowing sideways or side hill. Uh, it's got a heavy duty front bumper on it if you accidentally run into something. It's got the bigger front wheels on it, which make it nice as well. Uh, one thing I really like about the Husqvarna, on this one anyways, um, they have three different motors. They have the Briggs & Stratton, Kohler, and the Kawasaki in their top models. Uh, this one has the Kawasaki VR691V. Uh, it's a 23 horsepower engine. So it has plenty of power, uh, it runs very, very well. It has a manual choke on it, which I really like. I had one, um, I purchased a 1 Series actually, and it had a Kohler motor in it. And it had the smart choke technology, and I would steer away from the smart choke on those Briggs and & Stratton and Kohler motors. They've been having issues with them, and what it does is it floods the motor out once it gets warmed up and it doesn't run. It makes it a real pain to try and start. So I took that back. I got my money back. It was only like three days old. And I went and bought this one here with the Kawasaki with the manual choke. So just a little piece of advice there if you guys are looking. Some don't have any troubles. Some do uh, come to find out. So uh, you got your oil dipstick right there. One thing about that is when you check the oil on it, you don't want to thread it in. You want to pull it out, wipe it off, and then just set the... Um, Dipstick right on top. Don't screw it in to check the oil. Um, that's what they, they tell you in the manual and also the dealer told me that as well. So, no, this thing runs very well. Um, it's got the headlight switch on it there. Uh, it's got very good LED lights. Um, haven't really used them at all, but, you know. And then you got your brake pedal there. The 48 inch actually has three blades on it. Uh, cuts very very well so yeah we're gonna test it out today oh and it also has um, an automatic locking differential which makes it real nice if you're kind of mowing up and down hills and side hills and stuff and backing up too so seems like it works very well it doesn't tear the lawn up at all so yeah it works well so what we're gonna do today is uh, check the oil get it warmed up and go cut the lawn I hope you guys stick around
what's nice about this mower as well, I think most of them are anymore, they actually have an actual oil filter that you can screw off and change when it comes time. Go ahead and let that warm up a little bit and I'll just take you guys for a quick walkabout here around the yard. Sorry about the wind, it's windy today and there's actually a wildfire that started yesterday back over the hill over here. Uh, last I heard it was 175 acres. Um, feel bad for the people who are living over there and yeah, it's, it's a bad deal. Things are extremely dry here. We're in a major, major drought. So I hope, I hope we get some rain very, very soon. Um, yeah, up here in Washington and kind of the whole Western United States, we're are in a major drought here and yeah, we need some rain. You guys back east, it sounds like you guys are getting some rain. So why don't you guys send it over this way? I would really, really appreciate it. So what we got going on here um, is my lawn. I've been trying to maintain it you know and stuff the best I can um, not a very big lawn I used to mow it with the with the Kubota with the belly mower and I just got tired of taking that mower on and off all the time and dealing with it so that mower deck's actually for sale if anybody's interested so hit me up if you guys are and uh, see if we can make a deal on it but yeah it didn't take me very long to mow with the Kubota but there's a, a clay mix up here where we're living in it. I found out it was starting to kind of compact the lawn with the tractor, even with everything off of it, killing parts of it. So I decided to, uh, besides taking it on and off all the time, dealing with that, and then the compaction of the lawn, um, I decided to just go get a regular lawn mower and make things a little bit easier. So. I have an aerator on order as well. I ordered about four months ago and still waiting on that uh, to get here. I think that would help a lot. This lawn's never been aerated and we've been here almost four years now and yeah, it's I'm trying to keep it a lot of the best I can in this drought. But a lot of people are having issues with their water and stuff and I don't want to run my well dry either trying to keep the lawn green. So see what we can do with it. Hope you guys stick around.
have it, everybody. We got the lawn mowed today. What's left of it, anyways? So dang dry out here. It's man. I mean, you have to water 24/7 trying to keep everything green. But I thank you for a little walk about here and fabricated deck, what they call the clear cut system. I mean, things think that the mower sounds like a dang helicopter, you know, as it's running. That Kawasaki motor does an awesome job powering it. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. I mean, you could tell how dang dry it is. I mean, just water this area constantly and it's still dry, but... Sorry for the shadows and stuff with the trees. You can kind of see how how well it cuts and stuff, you know. My lawn is not smooth at all. It's got dips and humps and everything else in it, you know, so. But overall, I think it does a very good job. One thing you kind of have to watch a little bit on it is it does scalp if you have it at a lower setting. Sometimes just kind of the way it's set up. Uh, I have the caster wheels all the way down on it. And um, there's still some areas that if you hit a bump, or a big dip with the back wheels, it'll dip down and kind of, you know, put a scalp in it. So I keep it a little bit higher than probably most people will do, but if you got a smooth lawn, um, you would have no issues about that. Mine's just roughed in, you know, and I haven't done anything with it. So, but overall, it does a very good job. I'm, I really like the mower. You know, I like having a dedicated mower to just hop on and go and not have to mess with the mower deck for the tractor. Um, have it cool down a little bit and then uh, take the leaf blower and blow the dust off and put it away till next time, another two weeks from now, probably get the grass to I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the Husqvarna TS248 XD lawnmower there. Uh, if you guys are looking at getting one, you know, um, I would highly recommend this model here. Uh, especially with the fabricated decks. I think all Husqvarna lawnmowers are really good depending on what motor and stuff they got in them, you know, so um, I'd advise you to stay away from the Kohlers and the Briggs and Stratton's with that smart choke technology. It just I just don't like it and I, I had issues with the first one I had and Yeah, it's just better to have a manual choke in my opinion. So Kawasaki motor It's good stuff, man. You guys keep it up. All right, well, I hope you guys are all doing well out there and staying warm, or staying warm, staying cool in this heat, you know, and like I said, I hope that these western states get some rain here soon or else we're going to be in big trouble. Alrighty, guys, well, as I always say, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care and all the best.